Um, please let it reflect that uh, all three county commissioners are present. Uh, and then before we get going, uh, I just want to lay some ground rules. If you do have a cell phone, please put it on vibrate or silent. Uh, if you need to take any calls, you can take it out here in the foyer. Uh, and just um, anyone testifying tonight on any, on any public hearing items, please be respectful. Um, no, no, no outbursts, whether positive or negative. Um, as we move forward. Um, so as we get started tonight, we will go for uh, open public forum. This is an opportunity for citizens to comment on anything that is not on our printed agenda for tonight. Uh, you'll be given three minutes uh, to, uh, to address the board um, about anything that you please. We have one person who has signed up. Uh, if anyone else is, wants to sign up, we do have these yellow slips that are located right outside the door. Uh, if you could just fill one out, uh, um, either ahead of time or after time uh, before you leave, we would appreciate it. Um, uh, one individual who has signed up is Randy Penaluma. So you may come forward and you have three minutes and I hear you have something you'd like on the, on the projector. And Randy, if you could state your state your name and address for the record, uh, appreciate wait, it. You gonna open that again? Uh, Randy Penaluna, topic Valley Springs Waterway. Um, topic today is Spokane County's mission, goals, and values, both within the county and the, throughout the community. Although I have not been successful in finding where the county commissioner's mission, goals, and values is documented, it must be no easy task managing hundreds of employees, multiple different business avenues, operational budget, flood control zone, land management, environmental requirements, water, wastewater treatment, roadways, community development, public infrastructure, law enforcement, corrections, fire safety, public needs, public complaints, more and more. It has become clear with all the different operations that the commissioners and CEO are responsible for that they are heavily dependent on several different individuals with different disciplines in areas of needed expertise. Seems like all of our elected officials always claim to be all about the public, the community, and have the highest of ethic standards and require the highest of ethic standards from their subordinates. 99% of the time that may be true. Then there's the 1% of employees that don't fall within the acceptable boundaries of acceptable ethic standards. Leadership is under the false belief that a problem that is really way the heck out there, not even on the field to play, and performance that is totally unacceptable, orchestrated from their own management, personal, is possible. I believe the commissioner would say that kind of a problem is way out of bounds, out of the ballpark, for acceptable public works engineering would never happen in Spokane County, maybe another county, but not here, not in our backyard. We at Spokane County have the, high, have the best employees there, the, always on the up and up, and 99% of that time may be true. I have a short little video representation of the capability of my drainage system constructed on and utilizing county right away. In short, I used to have a drainage system built on county right away capable of 10,000 gallons in rush current, which my neighbors felt they didn't want there. And we'll discuss this at a later time. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so if there's anybody else wishing to testify in open public forum, please feel free to step forward. Second call for anybody wishing to testify. Third and final call for anybody wishing to testify. Seeing no one else, uh, we will close open public forum, but there will be another opportunity at the end of our meeting. Um, so this brings us to a proclamation uh, that we that, that we have on the agenda today um, that uh, Commissioner Cuny will read shortly, but um, this is, is a uh, proclamation honoring Angel Darlene Fiorini and Matthew Paul Burson. Yes, yeah, so Mr. Chair, I would like to read this proclamation as a motion. 
In the matter of honoring Angel Darlene Fiorini and Matthew Paul Burson, whereas the mission of the Carnegie Hero Fund Commission is to recognize persons who perform acts of heroism in civilian life in the United States and Canada, and to provide financial assistance for those disabled and the dependents of those killed helping others. And whereas Booking County and its citizens wish to join the Carnegie Hero Fund Commission in honoring Angel Darlene Fiorini and Matthew Paul Burson for the bravery they showcased in re rescuing Gianna E. Fiorini from a burning building in Newman Lake, Washington, October 28, 2016. And whereas on, the, on October 26, 2016, Gianna, age seven, was in the bedroom of a burning mobile home when fire broke out in the kitchen. Angel, Gianna's mother, removed Gianna's brother and sister from the home and then re-entered for Gianna. Fior um, Gianna Fiorini went first in, with her Angel went first, sorry, um, to her hands and knees and then to her stomach and moved toward the bedroom through the thick black smoke and blistering heat. Once inside the bedroom, she removed Gianna from a bed and put her on the floor, then dragged her toward the front door. At that time, Angel stopped several feet from the door and briefly released Gianna to open it. Angel lost consciousness as she returned to Gianna and whereas Matthew Paul Burson arrived on the scene and entered the home, crawling until he reached feet Angel, who was unconscious. Brinson moved Angel to the door and took her outside. When she regained consciousness, Brinson re-entered the home and found Gianna, who was also unconscious, and removed her from the home. When she regained consciousness, and whereas Gianna was hospitalized for smoke inhalation and several burns to her body, Angel was hospitalized for several weeks with severe lung damage for smoke inhalation and severe burns to nearly half her body. Brinson sustained burns to his hands and knees. He recovered. And now, therefore, we, the Board of County Commissioners of Spokane County, Washington, do hereby recognize this extraordinary bravery showcased by Angel Darlene Fiorini and Matthew Paul Brinson. Spokane County is undoubtedly a better place to live, work, and play with tremendous citizens like Angel and Matthew as part of our community. So we oh, second the motion. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. So we would like to present these to you.
I'm uh, Captain Lofton with the uh, Spokane Valley Fire Department, and I was the uh, uh, officer uh, first on scene that night. And so, uh, so unfortunately, that night I got to meet everybody under a little different circumstances. But uh, uh, due to your bravery and the fact that uh, you guys acted uh, so unselfishly, uh, everybody is here tonight. Um, Gianna and Benny and. <laughs> yeah, so thank you. Uh, you certainly made my job a little easier that night, um, but uh, you guys, uh, it's been an honor to, to recognize you and, and see that uh, you guys are, are nationally recognized for, for something that, that not everybody's willing to do. So thank you for, for all that you guys did. And, uh, that's great. great to see everybody here tonight. Thank you. And I don't know if you would like to say something. No, not at all. Um, I'm just very thankful, and uh, I was very lucky that night. And uh, I have a second family from it. So as you can see, the girls are just tearing it up. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Say again, we are just very thankful and very proud, and I mean, you guys are alive because of people helping others, so um, so thank you very much, and, and very honored that we could be here to give these awards to you, so. Absolutely, thank you, and to, uh, to Matthew, Angel, and our first responders that night, I mean, you guys, you guys represent what is wonderful about this community, and just thank you for being a part of our community. Okay, um, this brings us to a public hearing item tonight. Um, this is in the matter of the application of Fat Beam LLC for an amendment to franchise 12-0692, a telecommunications system in over, along, and under county right-of-ways in Spokane County, Washington. And we'll be receiving a presentation from Deborah Ferkins. Good evening, Commissioners. Deborah Ferkins with um, Public Works. Considering the application of Fat Beam LLC for an amendment to franchise number 2012 um, 0692, Fat Beam LLC has requested an amendment to its franchise to service Michael Anderson Elementary School. This amendment would allow them to go on Brooks Road from the city of Medical Lake to run east on McFarland Road to um, Fairchild Air Force Base. The Public Works Department recommends that the amendment to franchise number 2012-0692 be granted conditioned on Fat Beam LLC showing Spokane County permission from Fairchild Air Force Base to enter upon its property. Thank you. Any questions for Deborah? No? Okay. Uh, this is a public hearing item. So anybody wishing to testify on hearing item number five, please come forward. Second call for anybody wishing to testify. Third and final call for anybody wishing to testify. Seeing nobody wishing to testify, we will close the public hearing. And I will look to my fellow commissioners for a motion. 
Mr. Chair, I move to approve the application of Fat Beam Bean LLC um, as presented. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Well, this brings us to item number six on our agenda, which is our second and final open public forum. Um, anybody wishing to testify in open public forum, please come forward. Second call for anybody wishing to participate in open public forum. Third and final call for anybody wishing to participate in open public forum. Seeing nobody come towards the microphone, we will close open public forum. And we are adjourned. Yay. <laughs>